Let the interview begin. And welcome to the For Love and Nerds podcast. I'm here with a special edition of the show, the Walking Dead Telltale Games reunion. Today, I'm joined with Melissa Hutchison, Gavin Hammond, Sissy Jones, Shelly Sh- Shinoy, and Eric Bra. Thank you for all being here. So everyone's going to introduce their character and tell them a bit about what they're up to in their lives at the moment. Starting with Melissa, please. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first part's easy. I'm Melissa, and I did the voice of Clementine in The Walking Dead games. Um, and as per kind of what we just discussed, um, I've been up to lots of fun projects recently. Um, a little bit of animation, a few video games which haven't been released. So unfortunately, it's the NDA game uh doing that some one commercials too. yeah yeah are you on that one <laughs> oh my god we should totally have a game that's just called nda <laughs> no one will know what's going on because that's the point um yeah i mean things have been good it's been an interesting transition life after the walking dead but you know i'm still doing all the voice acting i was doing before and things have been super groovy and i'm really happy to be here with all of you beautiful people I'm glad to hear. Uh, how about you, Gavin? Uh, yeah, I'm Gavin Hammond. I play Kenny in The Walking Dead. Um, and uh, yeah, same sort of thing. I'm working. Uh, I'm probably picking more tomatoes than I am working, but uh, <laughs> work. not a euphemism. Well, yeah, well, no, it's not, not a euphemism. I wish some days that it were. Um, but yeah, just working, same stuff, uh, games that I can talk about and commercial stuff that no one cares about. Um, but yeah, happy to be here. <laughs> And it's been weird. Uh, it's been weird since The Walking Dead, and now in COVID times. But yeah, but absolutely. I'm plugging away. Awesome. And how about you, Sissy? Uh, I'm Sissy. I played uh, Katya, Kenny's wife, uh, for a little bit on the on the game, and then I played uh, Jolene and Bree and Shell and Norma and Vanessa <laughs> and <laughs> a guard and a calm how how's internet calm lady i did nine characters throughout the season uh, throughout the series and uh um katya was my first job ever as a voice actor so that game um 1000 percent changed my life um since then uh i've gotten to work on a lot of really cool things i'm currently on the owl house which is a show on disney which is why i'm rocking my my bad girl coven shirt so Sweet. if you want to show, you know um I have a bunch of stuff coming up that I can't talk about. <laughs> um, there's another show coming out, hopefully sometime next year, that has been announced called Ark Survival. Um, it's based on a video game. It's produced oh, by Vin yeah. Diesel and all of that. And I have been announced on that, so I can say that I'm involved in that. Um, and a bunch of other random stuff that I can't think about because I'm on the spot. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Eric? Oh, uh, well, I, I think I, uh, well, I'm, first of all, I'm Eric. I played uh, Danny in 400 Days and Randy in season three, I think it was. And uh, I loved The Walking Dead. I was actually read the comic before I even got the gig. So I was pretty stoked to get involved. And uh, it was, um, I, I it had very fond memories of, of the work that was done. My, my characters were pretty small, and uh, but uh, the people that I worked with, I loved Julian and, and uh, may he rest in peace, Jory Prum. Um, I, 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 I miss I miss him every day. Uh, but a uh, wonderful game. Love cry doing it. Uh, into it, man. You can't just yeah, make me cry. Point. Thanks, Sorry. Sorry. I am Sorry. prone to falling apart, so don't even start. All right, all right. Well, I, I am, agree 100% uh, with you about Jory. I love that man. All right, we're, I we're am moving currently on. working moving on. on I'm currently working on like some podcast stuff. Uh, did an audio drama uh, called Clarion Dawn that's out there. Uh, I have a, a few varieties of the broadcast, uh, story time, sleepy time, and the broadcast. Uh, and um, I do sleep stories on calm uh, and a variety of voiceover. I don't know, all kinds of stuff, commercials, toys, whatever, whatever I can get into. And uh, I'm super thrilled to be here because I absolutely adore these people. So thanks, Adam. Appreciate you inviting me. Hey, you're very welcome. I'm glad you can be part of it. Uh, and how about you, Shelly? Uh, hey, guys. I'm Shelly Shinoy. Uh, I, um, I played Kate Garcia on season three. Um, and uh, you guys can hear me, right? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, just checking. Um, okay, uh, uh, and um, geez, yeah, uh, right now um, I'm in negotiations for uh, with a major uh, motion picture animation studio house for voice directing, uh, NDA, um, <laughs> and for voice directing that NB NDA game. Oh or show I'm or, in that. Or, or whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> for, for probably working with all of these people coming up very soon uh uh i'm in a three three picture deal for uh, uh working in feature film some feature films coming up in the next two years um and i'm gonna be in a western uh oh, and oh i'm so jealous what? I get to so shoot jealous. a guy. That's kind of like all I've ever wanted to do is shoot a that's guy awesome. in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. And like, so that's like a, just a personal dream come true. Uh, <laughs> I'll be working on that. That's dark, but it's so true. I'm going to, that's going to be so much fun, man. Uh, cause I fall in love with him and then I kill him anyway. Cause he's a bad guy anyway. Uh, so, um, and then voicing uh you know some and some lovely nda things um but the one thing that was a bucket list this year that i do get to talk about because it's over was voicing for the united states female gymnastics team oh yeah this year Woo! so yeah. that oh, was cool. that was like i was a gymnast when i was a kid and like that 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 was the cool the coolest thing ever. i got to work with um ali ali raisman from the fearless five um yeah, she, and she's just, I was just like, Duh. like, I can meet any celebrity in the world, but meeting an Olympian, I was like, Duh, you're amazing. So I just, I couldn't, I, it was, it was awesome. So that awesome. was, that was really cool. That's so that's one job. thing I can mention. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you, everyone. Yeah. Um, so now I'm going to ask you some uh, questions about the show, about your favorite moments, um, episodes, that sort of thing. So we're going in the exact same order as we just did. Uh, and I'll ask. So, first off, what was your favorite, get yeah, your guys' favorite moment from the four seasons or the, the seasons you guys were involved in? At least. Oh, geez. Do you mean oh, wow. in, in the game or like behind the scenes? In, in the game. Uh, 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 wow, that's very. Broad Obviously, you have, you have a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like, can I go season by season? Um... <laughs> I mean, if you want to pick one from each season, because you were in all four seasons, so I suppose if you want to do that. Well, I mean, uh, I'll, I'll just have to go with the classic answer that probably most people who are fans of the game would guess. It's uh, the finale of season one. I don't know. Eh, what do we feel about spoilers? Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 put, we'll, we'll put a spoiler one in here now. So okay, yeah. going from this point, there will be spoilers. <laughs> You haven't been um, a one. What are you even doing here? I know. Like, exactly. Get out. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, just the uh, the accumulation of that whole entire season leading up to uh, the scene between uh, Dave Fenoy and I, Lee and Clem, at the end of season one um, of, uh, you know, him getting bit. There was a spoiler. And, uh, you know, him... <laughs> Clem having to choose what? whether to, yeah, sorry, everybody. Um, having to say goodbye to him, whether that be to choose to shoot him or leave him, which who would do that? But people do, no wrong answers. Um, no wrong choices, <laughs> rather. Uh, that, uh, in general, that was, the whole season was so, um, I mean, this is the first game, I think I can kind of speak for all of us here in, in voice acting, you know, we, we all, well, except for Sissy, <laughs> this is our first gig. But, you know, video game work was generally just much more uh, loose and fantasy. There wasn't this character rich dialogue, this this in-depth story. And um, when we all saw these scripts, this was like the oh shit, this is something so special and so unique. And, and just the writing was so amazing. So just leading up to that point of the final episode of that season uh, and legitimately crying in the studio i didn't get to record with dave but um i he had recorded before me so i got to hear his lines in my headphones and uh it was just it was just magic i don't you know i i know that there will be opportunities because video games have become way more um you know story driven uh but that was pretty uh, kind of a one and only 
moment in my career and it was very very special oh absolutely i agree because that's one of my favorite seasons and scenes from the whole game so i agree yeah, uh I, I feel yes. like telltale really kicked the door in for narrative storytelling in games mm-hmm. um i i uh i listen uh, I don't have as many scenes as Melly did, but uh, but I I had multiple characters throughout the thing, and I uh, I I loved Katya. God, I love Katya. I I will love her forever until the day I die. Um, hopefully not by zombie attack or gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we don't know what's going to happen with the vaccines yet. Well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do it. Uh, a warning yeah. up what i said now he's got to put that warning up there gonna <laughs> oh yeah damn it oh. he's gonna come after him now um y- y- you know that last scene with katya um i i had moved to la right after i booked the job of katya so i was i was um connected via phone patch for the the last se- several few sessions with her and then i they booked me for a Wednesday and I was like, hey, maybe for the next one I can come up and like see you guys in person and it'd be great. And then I read the script and I was like, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Um, so I went in for the session and like like Melly said, like it was legit just like a sob fest. I mean, I was crying. Sean Vanneman was crying. Julian was crying. Jory was tearing up. You know, the engineer in L.A. was crying. It was um it was really heavy and it was it was real for me like Katya was based on someone who um is very special in my life and who had lost a child and uh so to like to act it as a to make believe thing it was very real and um it was brutal um but but great i mean to the point that like it still chokes me up talking about it. And when I met these guys who I had not met previously, you know, um, like Melly said, you know, in games, you could be in a thousand games and, and share credits with 1800 people. And when you meet, it's like, oh, you're in that thing. Yeah, cool, me too. All right, later. Um, but this one, you know, I walked into a, a, they were having drinks together and a friend of mine invited me. I walked in and I was like, um, I'm Katya. And everyone was like, Katya. And it was like, you know, immediate camaraderie and like, you know, brotherhood for life because we all lived through it. So it was just really special. That was a long answer. Oh, no, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> a great one, though. <laughs> uh, Gavin? I miss those days from Kato's. Those were a lot of fun um, when we would all get together and drink and talk video games. Um, I guess for me, probably my favorite moment would be uh, where Kenny drops Clementine off at the wall. Um, just because it was, for me, it, it really kind of encapsulated what I thought was so good about the game from the beginning, which was just how well it was written. And so it was kind of like, I the, the way that scene was playing out, I kind of just had it in my brain, you know, what the words were gonna be. And I hadn't seen the script before because we generally don't ever get to see it beforehand. I don't anyway, they don't send them to me. I might send them to Sissy and Melissa, but they don't send them to me. <laughs> so I, it just kind of played out almost exactly the way I was envisioning it as I was reading it. And so it was just such a pleasure to just kind of get the words off the page, you know, make this, what, what was so good about it, just kind of make it shine and not get it in the way, you know, which was, uh, which is always kind of the point, I think. But um, yeah, so that was probably my favorite moment. And then meeting all these people, oh, I mean, we were close, some of us, you know, Mel and I knew each other and I know Owen and I knew each other prior, but um, a lot of folks, we just kind of met for the first time. And what was so cool is this was a game that was cast um, pretty much exclusively in the San Francisco Bay Area because that's where Telltale was, that's where Studio Jewelry was. Um, so it was cool. It felt different, you know, more than just being such narratively or a narrative-driven, you know, story without, you know, grenade and get down. You know, we usually have to do in a game, but you know, it was all us. So it was all kind of people who either knew each other or were in the same place. So it wasn't uh, all cast in New York or all cast in LA. So that felt kind of cool and special too at the time. Nice, awesome. Uh, um, Eric or Shelly next, whoever wants to go. I mean, I, I will say I had, uh, obviously I told you, I, I really appreciated the experience and I love the people that I worked with. Obviously the, the actors as well, but you know, the crew, 
was really cool. And, and obviously Sean and those guys were really great. The writing was, you know, tremendous and uh, they're, they're all really nice people. And uh, I, I had a great experience. I think my characters are kind of small. So uh, <clears throat> I had a really good time uh, uh, recording my characters just because in some senses they weren't necessarily like you know pivotal characters you know obviously kenny and clam and you know what i mean so i i was i was uh <laughs> i was really happy to be a part of it and i just love the i love the can i i can't think of a, a moment i i love i think melissa already said it obviously the end of season one was really good um and uh i i think there was a a weird i, I can't even describe it uh the moment that I got to do Randy, which was the end of season three, and it was, you only saw him if you selected a certain route. <laughs> and so some people never saw this guy at all. So they, they, it was kind of funny when you reached out, I was like, you sure you want to talk to me? Cause I, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'll never forget Julian saying like, oh, here's your Oscar moment, man. And it was, I'm asking you as a father you know and and that was that was a really uh, fun moment for me uh obviously it was like sad because you're envisioning that you know you're you could potentially die any minute uh <laughs> as the character so uh but no i i had wonderful experience and and again i love these people so i i'm i'm just thrilled with the whole thing and i love walking dead so yay <laughs> shelly take it away <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, this was, this was actually life changing. I think this, this was my 10th or, or 11th game at the time. And, uh, cause this was like 2016. And when I, when I got cast, um, but I, yeah, I was reading the script and, um, one thing that, uh, was actually never made known to me ever at any point was clarifying that I actually had one of the leads in the game for season three. I thought I was like a waitress. Like I had <laughs> no idea who Kate was. And the thing is, is that I had actually come from this like landscape of games that I had done where like I had worked with these games all over the place and I would be, you know, six, seven, 10 characters in a game. And that was normal to me. And so I was like, well, man, this one, this one lady has a whole lot of lines. That's so interesting. I'm like, who is she? Because they didn't, because it was non-DA, it was, it was non-DA, it was NDA, like out the ears, right? But that included no one at any point mentioning to me. And so, um, and so what actually happened was we were, we were, I don't know if any of you guys know this and I would love to know if you guys know this, but we were about three months in to recording when they replaced Javi. Mm -hmm. mm. I knew that. Yeah, this yeah. Telltale. Telltale. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, they, this is like cutthroat, like, Jeff, yeah, obviously. like Hollywood kind of stuff where it was like, okay. And it was at that time where I had had like I had had a handful of records, but nothing that was too, um, uh, nothing that was too broad yet for me to like fully pick up on the grasp of everything. And until Jeff was cast. And when Jeff was cast, the Telltale people and the New York studios all spoke together and asked if his very first record could be with me live. And so when I showed up that day, they were like, hey, here's what's going on. And they told me, they told me like what had happened. It was just devastating for this other actor. It just, it just, you know, when, you know, when you're in a production and like, God bless that, that guy, but like, it just wasn't, the chemistry wasn't there. And, and, uh, you know, a handful of other things that were just uh, disallowing the story to flow the way they wanted. And so they, so when I showed up that day, they were like, hey, um, your, your love interest is here live in LA, you're working together. And I was like, well, and they told me all, and I, like all at once. And I was like, right, yeah. yeah, okay, great. Yeah, and they were like, can you walk through, can you bring him up to speed on everything you've been doing? I was like, absolutely, no problem. And then I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I, had, I was like, hmm. And then it was only live in real time when we were given those scripts that day 
that all of that was made known to me on wow. set in the real records where I realized like everything in the story that had, because only tiny fractions and nuggets of information had been given to me. And that day the floodgates opened and I was like, oh my God. And it was all live. And we were, we were recording via Skype. So we could, we were actually working together and seeing each other. And, and it was like, it was fireworks. It was so much fun. It was an absolute tailspin of, of a record and then and then it was like that for the next 10 months we worked on that for 10 months it's crazy it was crazy uh, and then and then the the other thing I guess that really stood out to me aside from that first day where behind the scenes like the floodgates open was uh doing all of the recordings where um Javi has Kate in his arms because she's like out and uh, she's been shot and it was the, she was barely alive uh, and, and was putting in her like final wishes to see the, the Northern Lights. And we did so many different versions of that, including versions where like, just like barely alive, but like really emotional and, and just skimming the line between alive and dead. And, and that was just such a power charged emotional record. It was like, that was so, that was just so, so cool. It was just like a baptism into a real narrative. It was beautiful. Awesome, that's amazing. I love the fact that you've got such a good relationship with Jeff as well, which is always important. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Jeff, he's awesome. Oh, Jeff, he's amazing. He's an yes. amazing <laughs> he's human awesome. in general and actor, but human, yeah. Uh, I'd like to ask, ask you all now what your favorite episode was and your favorite season. Obviously, I know some of you were only involved in one season. So if you're in, yeah, like Shelly, for example, what was your favorite season that you've seen throughout? And Eric, likewise. Oh, well, Shelly, I, I, if you want to go first. I... Oh, sure. Uh, so you're, you're asking what my favorite season was? Season and episode season and episode uh um it's okay I would, if you haven't seen all the other seasons by the way this isn't uh, like a, oh no. you didn't play season four <laughs> <You're> like, <out. laughs> how, how random would it be if i was like season one episode six like, <laughs> i mean it would be kind of awesome but i yeah, know i know so we all know as actors it doesn't work that way for the most part <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, um, I, I mean, I, gosh, I, I honestly have to say season three, episode one, because like the whole experience of, of recording that, because episode one did take a lot longer because of the behind the scenes stuff. But when it all came together, um, including the, a lot of other behind the scenes stuff that happened with the telltale. Um, anyway, it was, that was great. Like I'd be happy to share later, but, um, <laughs> uh, but <episode> yeah. oh. <laughs> well I well yeah well, I will tell I will share it later because it's like mind-blowing but um but I would say ep episode three season one um uh just because the experience of getting in the in the when when in the sort of being working inside the writer's room because I was working live with the writers in real time and, um, and the reason why it's my favorite is because in season one, uh, episodes one and two, it's determined that Kate is a stoner. And, and it's like she, like marijuana is her like safe place, yeah. right? And, uh, and that, that was just fascinating and interesting. But the, the reason that happened was because during records, I was like, we would do something really serious and then I would zip out a one-liner and the writers were like in tears. And then they were like, we're, we have to bring that to Kate. <laughs> then, then one day I showed up in the record and they were like, how do you feel about smoking pot in this scene? And I was like, what? And they were like, and just letting it rip and just improvising. And that all happened with like, man, I need to get laid. Like all that stuff was improv. It was, it was just oh, wow. ridiculous. So I loved all of that. That was so much fun. 
Awesome. Uh, I'll mention the funny one, which is the fact that 400 days is not really a season. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> and then my character's in it. And well, I also love the fact that both of my characters never actually died. You never know what happened to them. <laughs> you just assume they're dead. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I, I don't even remember what the question was now. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite season and episode? oh yeah so 400 days i guess was pretty cool uh just because i got to it was my, my chance to be in walking dead uh and um i i, I again and i i really do feel that the the end of one was really powerful um i think i've all i don't know if i've played all the way through three and four i don't think i played four at all so i can't speak for the yeah yeah no i know you should be mad I, i'm mad at myself i i never i never finished it i i, I should have went to four and finished it yeah you should have um, good yeah that that i would love to finish it up uh how about you sissy uh i i think season one was just lightning in a bottle for so many reasons um you know the least of which was that i'm in it <laughs> uh no i mean it just there was something about that those five episodes that just changed the zeitgeist like it just it altered the direction that games could go in i mean because of that game we got to have firewatch and life is strange and i feel like you know even the last of us um started telling emotional stories and people were not afraid to go for making players cry because of season one um and i think it just changed i think it just changed everything um episode wise uh, on a personal level um Kind of like eric was saying in 400 days i play a character uh d whose uh whose man gets stolen by another lady and you know whatever the the story was what it was but i uh as we were filming the scene where she gets her face bashed in with a metal pipe um i actually went into labor and um i started wow. having a child and you, uh who's it i finished that effing session <laughs> with gusto yes. and then I went to and so like like I remember, and is it okay if I swear? I yeah, yeah. Already, yeah, yeah, we covered that. Yeah. Do it. Um, Let it rip. There, there was a there was a line where she's like, "You you fucking junkie, you, you fucking junkie," and like that was the last recorded thing I said before I became a mother. So, <laughs> so world child. Uh, so it's like it's this ongoing joke between the voice director, Julian, and I. Like every time we work on a project together, he'll get on and be like, what's up, you fucking junkie? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that just will always live in my heart. <laughs> so uh, how about you, Gavin? I have to, I have to say, Sorry. though, I love that Sissy's face takes on, because I relate to this hardcore because my face also morphs to whatever I'm voicing. Yeah. So when her eye, she's like, you fucking junkie it's like oh my god yes <laughs> and have, and like, like if you see the screenshot of her like one of her eyes is like fucked up and popping out and <laughs> great well done. great yeah. so <clears throat> meta just meta you're a meme waiting to oh, wow. oh god um, so i think my favorite season and episode i'm gonna do the reverse of shelly and i'm gonna do uh season one episode three and uh, probably because that was, I was in the habit like everybody else that was working on this game to kind of go into every episode saying, so, or every record, how do I die? And they say, you don't. But on that way, that day, they said, you don't, but because everybody in my family died. So that was super. And Carly, and Carly dies yeah. in that one too. Ah, uh, does she? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah. Um, yeah, and I remember just, uh, you know, I'm crying because Duck's dead, Katja's dead, and I'm crying and crying and crying, and then we, we're rolling and we cut. And then they're like, you okay? Do you need a minute or something like that? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. Why? And they're like, oh, okay. You just seemed upset. Just acting, I suppose. But uh, it's just funny to have all of that emotion all the time was so different in a game and fun. Yeah, I was supposed to your anecdote but i don't think it i don't think it ended up no that's great though <laughs> uh, melissa i can kind of guess I, that yours is... would be the finale of season one or so well no we're oh. gonna i mean well yeah this is the thing this is why it's just it's too tricky for me because i mean every single episode that i'm just so grateful to have been a part of so many seasons and to grow with clem 
So I'm giving you two because I can. Um, <laughs> season two, uh, you know, it was interesting because, you know, when they did season one, they didn't have the intention of having Clementine be this ongoing character. They were like, we're going to do this season, uh, see what happens. And I mean, Clem, there was no intentions of like having her come in and, you know, be the playable character after she leaves Lee. But mm -hmm. because of the fans and how amazing and how people just fell in love with Lee and Clem and and you know they're like we gotta we Clem has to live forever you know the support the fan base just that really riots just, the street <laughs> yeah kind of um so in episode one of season two um you know it's interesting transition because only uh theoretically a year maybe two had gone by from where we leave Lee and Clem is now the playable character so she's not that much older but it was a big transition into her having gone through so much shit and she's you know becoming this badass character as opposed to, I mean she was always really sweet and so helpful and, and good and just such a good kid um, but in season two episode one uh, when she takes down that giant, of course, all the fans are going to know this. I'm like, yeah, it's still not bitten, but it's the still not bitten scene where she's, you know, they locked her in that shed because they don't yeah. trust her and she has a dog bite. And so she takes down that giant big old walker and they're like, oh shit. I'm like that's the moment and they open the door and Clem's just basically like, you know, I'm still not bitten motherfuckers, <laughs> you know, and then you're like, oh man. So that set the stage just right there of knowing that Clem is just, you know, she's solid. Um, and yeah, the finale of uh, season four, actually, that was really emotional. That whole season was, I mean, I almost don't want to talk about it because I can cry or just thinking about it, like Telltale getting shut down literally we were in a recording session for the final episode and Telltale -tell shuts down our friends lost their jobs the fans lost this game and this character they love I lost Clem all within like the blink of an eye so when Skybound picked it up of course they would um and thank them forever I mean Robert Kirkman uh, creator and savior of The Walking Dead um Recording that final episode of like actually the last time in the studio, uh, recording that final scene where she's talking to AJ and, uh, you know, full circle, basically, uh, was super emotional. I thought it was so beautifully well done. And, and in the scene, you're walking through uh, Erickson's, the school, wait, not Erickson's, God, sorry, sorry, am I screwing this up? The school where they are, it's Erickson's. Um, and in the hallway, all the names of all the telltale people who worked on that final season oh, they had yeah. them like graffitied on the wall and i mean it was just like <laughs> i went and saw that at the uh, the new parkway in oakland with all the telltale the still not bitten crew and when that came on i mean i was just destroyed it was just like <laughs> a, you know ugly crying mess it was it just that whole last i mean the whole season was emotional for so many different reasons knowing that it was i was going into it as my last bow as Clem. Of course. And so you did a great job episode. aging her too. Oh my God. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, no, it was, it was cool. Cause in season three, you know, she was that, like, uh, that was the Clint Eastwood kind of like, I don't, you know, so I don't give a shit. I'm just here to find AJ. You people can suck it. Sorry. Look at me. I'm cussing. I'm flipping the bird. <laughs> I'm doing, I'm just taking care of it for everyone. Um, <laughs> But in season four, when she started, so she had that like real badassery to her. But in, in season four, she was taking care of AJ. So she had this parental tone as well as being badass. But, you know, it was it was a really cool transition uh, of becoming teenage Clem. And uh, I loved every minute. I miss her. I miss her so much. Um, Melissa, so. I think I asked you this last time we did the interview. But are you able to do it from season one voice to season four? If you can do that. Oh, you mean like right now? Yeah. Sorry, my voice isn't really warmed up right now. Sometimes doing season one, Clem, uh, makes me feel like I'm actually getting really old because if I'm not warmed up, it's harder to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, the still not bitten to, let's see. And then she becomes way more, well, yeah, we meet Kate, but she kind of doesn't even, Kate's cool, but she just needs to find AJ and get the fuck out of town and it pretty much just stays there this is pretty much season four i awesome. don't know That's really cool <laughs> thanks 
party tricks <laughs> and I and another opportunity to use more swear words of course. apparently <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with me yeah. and nothing for... everything is right with you exactly yeah. <laughs> uh throughout the season there's obviously several villains and you know annoying characters that all you guys share the screen with so is there one character each of you would have would have loved to have killed in the series with your main characters that you play. I I killed Michael Madsen, so well, yeah, that's true. I, so I'm satisfied. I think I would have I would have killed him too. Why am I? Why? Hold on, this is that on the spot season two. Michael Madsen, character name Carver. 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 Yeah, <laughs> me too. That's my answer. Um, Sissy, Shelley, and Eric. How about you three? I know obviously Catch is a very is a mother figure and she won't really kill anyone, but is there anyone in the series you despised and would have loved to have killed? Honestly, as Jolene, I would okay. have loved to kill the Dairy Brothers. Oh, the, yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. But they gave me this whole backstory that Jolene had had a daughter that the Dairy guys had stolen and like um, done the thing to. So uh, that's why she was completely batshit crazy and obsessed with clementine um and so as jolene i would have loved to strung him up by the balls um <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool just uh, just real fast i need to amend yeah. mine as well and add because again i have uh, because i'm using my power as the four seasons the four seasons and <laughs> we will all earth wind and um but it was really cool with nikki rap coming back as uh lily oh yes that was that was uh she was also a, a uh, a fun one to take down when the time was right or you know wanting to hate her yes, she was pretty exactly. bad yeah. yeah I mean she was great Nikki's great <laughs> amazing yes, job really, her yes. character <laughs> very effective absolutely uh, Shelly I'm gonna send this into a tailspin but if I could have killed anybody on the show it probably would have been my stepson Gabe <laughs> 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disagree with you on that one. Sorry. Oh my god, he was such a petulant, annoying piece of shit. Like if you had to be in an apocalypse with somebody, pray to God it's not with a prepubescent thirteen-year-old boy who's just gonna fucking needle every choice you make and like almost take you down at every turn because he's fucking complaining about everything. It was like. It was no wonder, I, like we laughed so hard behind the scenes with the pot because I was, I, I had so many one-liners that of course would never make it onto the show, onto, this, onto the actual game. But like, I, I made it clear at the time. I was like, can we just kill this piece of shit? Just, <laughs> just get rid of him. The actor is great. He did a great job doing his job for the what the character needed so so he was you know and he's you know lovely kid but that character man just <laughs> out just out fair enough i mean at least he died in some scenarios so <laughs> how about you eric oh i honestly i mean I, <laughs> the the two brothers in the dairy for sure uh carver yeah those those are i i i, I will just double up and, and agree that, that they are correct in there. <laughs> and then the PBS of kid, yeah. Just shut your mouth. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get the I was kind of like Clem was way too and this is again, this isn't a knock on the uh the writer or the char character development, but you know, Clem had moments of being able to you know, like have a kiss with Gabe. There was obviously the the teenage tension going on there, and I was like mm. Uh, not yeah. my Clem. Actually, I mean, I understand why people played it that way, but I was like, when I play the game as a fan of the game, no, not happening. Yeah, same. I, I yeah. feel like, I, I swear, I feel like there was, at some point, Melissa and I texted about it. I feel like there was a little bit because it was, like, he really was kind of like a toxic little <laughs> booger, you know? And, like, I think I actually was like, man i have some feelings and and melissa was so uh so with me on it like just so supportive of like of like oh my god i feel you because i had to do a lot of those scenes where you're just like 
it's like nails on a chalkboard kind of because you just you're just you're doing it and you're making it work but it was also like I've got feelings <laughs> Melissa was like feel those feelings feel them <laughs> acting acting <laughs> use it for something yeah oh yeah I did I smoked some pot <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, well. yeah. um, and so I'd like to now ask you guys from every character in the game who stood out as your favourite character and you can't and you can't say each other obviously Plan. all of them everybody <laughs> oh man it has to be Clem come on well yeah. I'm not gonna you know yeah me. I mean I love Kenny Clem. too Kenny was great <laughs> and I know tons of people are huge fans of Kenny's too so like but I just Clem just because you know she you, you got to watch her grow you you grew with her you know like I I yeah I I, I love Clem she's great yeah. and I happen to really like the actor too. Mm. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, I mean I, I I don't know how you go not Clem Lee Kenny yeah, the, yes. the Golden Triangle right right yeah. Uh, how about Shelley? Who's your Golden favorite? Triangle, all right. All the way. Are we are we in agreement that it's Lee, Kenny, Clem? Oh wait, also Javi. He was fucking great. Ah, yes. <laughs> he yeah. was great. He's he's a professional baseball player. Hello. Yeah. So yeah, I like yeah, I like just a superb actor, and you know what I mean. Like because all that stuff plays into it. Like how much you admire the characters and the way that they were played, the way that they were written the way that the actors took them on the journey that we went on, you can't not bow down to like that level of mastery and expertise. And like, and it was, it really was, you know, and when Sissy said it was like lightning in a bottle, but like, how do you ride that out for so many seasons? And what that was, was just the cream of the crop of the industry rising together yes uh you know and all of these ships rising together and and just doing it on repeat every time with just such a bombastic charismatic beautifully um synchronized cast in in just this unbelievable chemistry and that was just it was just so beautiful to to be a part of but to witness as you know, a, a, a voice actor, a, a professional actor, a professional director. And when you just go, holy shit, this is, this is everything. It's amazing. I do have to say, I also really loved what they did with Michonne and the backstory mm. and everything that yeah. they did in that, in that um, you know, contained series I thought was really good. Yeah, I don't think it spoke about as much as the other seasons, but yeah, I do agree. It's done, it was excellently done, put together. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I was just gonna. No, I mean, obviously, I mean, Gavin knows that I'm team, you know, recklessly team Kenny, <laughs> recklessly. Uh, but there's selfish reasons because obviously we're super close humans in life. Um, but as as far as like a let, let's go out of the the triangle, um, uh, sissy as uh, seeing that when we got to play that episode and how like well first of all I loved her she was like so nurturing for Clem as Clem that was like oh cool there's like this nurturing Clem feels safe with this character uh she's gonna she's gonna be awesome and help out and she'll be here forever not um and the performance that I mean just the way you played it out to her to her end was beautiful and so emotional also, Roger Jackson um, did the voice. I think it was the same same ep- episode. We meet Chuck. Oh, and it yeah, was such yeah. a small part. I mean, he's literally. I think it's just one episode when they're on the train. And then Chuck the hobo. I mean, and not really a, a big part, but he. It's like Lee. He's basically gives Lee just drops all this wisdom on him. And you're like, damn. And he it's played that stranger too, didn't he? I think he did the voice of the stranger. Yeah. Did he do the voice of the stranger? Oh shoot! I, I think feel so. like he hobo did. And then he was the guy that had the, his wife. The head in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Also in season four. Um, oh my God, Gideon Adlon. I mean, everybody in season. I mean, there was a lot of really amazing actors in season four whom I only met Gideon. I never met uh, 
uh, Taylor Parks, who plays AJ. Crazy, insane, considering how much we worked together. Yeah. Uh, but Gideon, who played Violet, uh, she did an amazing job and uh, she's super cool. So I thought, there you go. I'll give you that. Awesome. Uh, this is really to do a walking, well, sort of do a walking dead. So obviously, your characters have all done actions throughout the games and series. Do you think yourselves could replicate what they did in the games? Oh, yeah, for sure. No, okay. if, yeah, if, yeah, if an apocalypse ever happened in the Wait, real world. Adam, what, what are you asking? So if an apocalypse bro- broke out in the real world, could you do the same actions as your characters in the game? I'd be really, really disappointed in myself if, if I, like, failed quickly in the zombie <laughs> apocalypse. I'm not saying I would maybe... I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I think with all my experience and all the knowledge I've taken away, getting to voice and go through what Clem went through, if I'm like one of the first idiots to die week one during a zombie apocalypse, then I consider <laughs> that a fail. So I'm hoping, I hope, I hope that I, I stay the course and I'm one of these people founding a new town in the mountains or whatever it is yeah. they're doing. <laughs> I will have no problem enacting violence on zombies or people who get yeah. in my way. Wow, that just would, came out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it would be like you... Army of Darkness. Here's my boomstick. I mean, <laughs> I would be ready to. I would be ready to blast some things. <laughs> I I don't know. Um, I you know I think if anyone came for my kids, I I would one thousand percent go feral. Um, but you know I. I get really distraught when people are horrible to each other, like as a, as a, as a me. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think it would be really devastating to watch people be awful. You know what I mean? I don't know how I, uh, like, if, listen, being a thousand percent honest, I don't know how I would react. Um, I, I would like to think I'd be out there with my fucking, you know, nail studded baseball bat and, <laughs> yeah. and everything. And that's a real nice, you know, uh, fantasy to think, but I don't, I don't know how I would legitimately respond to people actively trying to hurt one another. Um, yeah. it would be difficult. Yeah, I guess you're right. I would probably <laughs> on that. Well, damn it. No, I wouldn't. I acted all tough. <laughs> Walkers. Yes. I'll take down. No problem. But this yeah. is the reason why if, if something like this ever happened, you also just try to get out to as much nature as possible and away yeah. from as many humans as possible, obviously. Exactly. Yeah. Leaving the city would be imperative. Yeah. How about you, Shelly? <laughs> mm. uh, uh, no, I don't think that I would be like Kate. Um, you know, I, I think uh, for, for me, honestly, I have such a type A personality. If I had a dollar for any time in my entire life that like somebody told me they would follow me into the apocalypse as a leader, I would take you all out to dinner with it I, because it, it's just but like the thing is the difference though between how I would handle it myself this is such a hilarious question but how I would handle it myself is that I I the one thing that that sort of it didn't bother me but it was it was fascinating to see the psychology of um divisiveness in in that world and for me it's it's like no get in line let's go get together let's go it's not like a and we are going to have our own community and you're not allowed in it's like us versus zombies let's go you know what i mean and so i would be i would be very assertive but i wouldn't be divisive because i think that that's the um that would that would be the downfall of it is when the people actually turn against each other when We're that's all that right now in life <laughs> yeah yeah it's yeah painful yeah and 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 i think you know and and when yeah i i think that like it it takes it takes a lot to be a great leader and if you're gonna be a great leader you've got to realize that that you've got to do it together you know yeah. what I mean? And instead of like splitting it up into ranks of people and dip and outside community, you know, and, and that, that divisiveness just uh, creates holes of toxic, you know, opportunities to spiral yeah, absolutely. into toxicity. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Eric? 
I, I mean, I, like I said, I, I, I want to believe that I'd be ready to, to, to blast some zombies. But yeah, I guess the part I hadn't thought about until Sissy said it was, uh, uh, yeah, the you think you're both humans against the zombies, but then you figure out that that person is just going to screw you over to get whatever they want. You know what I mean? That that yeah. part of it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that, that would definitely suck. And it would be really hard because I would want to, as Shelly said, want to have that sort of faith in people that were like, it's us against the zombies, right? Oh, wait, you're taking all my shit and then letting me become a zombie? Like, you know what I mean? That, yeah. that kind of stuff is yeah. pretty brutal. I I can't imagine. I think I'd, I, I would, as Melissa said, want to be, hey, we have this great place up in the mountains. We're hiding from the zombies. Like, come, you know, be a part of it. Yeah, I, I imagine uh, I would probably get duped <laughs> at some point and probably find myself in a very untenable no. situation. <laughs> Come with me, buddy. Come with me. <laughs> right. we, we, we got buddy. this. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think I could probably survive in a zombie apocalypse. What I what I kind of do what Kenny did, which was sort of just go crazy and, <laughs> and yell at people. I hope, but I could see that. I could see uh, that as like. Yeah, like it's a distinct possibility. But um, yeah, no, like I got screw guns and sheetrock and plywood and stuff. And so I, I feel like we secure a hole someplace, grow some food. Well, yeah, you're you're on my team. I mean, for all, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're going to do all the gardening. Yeah, so, and, you, and you make I'll, artisanal I'll, pizzas. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Like we've <laughs> all seen your religion. Instagram. If, yeah, I was gonna say if you've ever looked at his Instagram, Instagram it's just like, like the best veggies and snacks, and I'm like, oh my god! Listen, I've got pizzas, pizzas man. They're real good. We'll, we'll we'll make some wine. We'll make some beer, some meat, whatever Boom. it takes. Together, hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping the bad Next guys. Time, this reunion will be inside the gates of our little community. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. That, there some I could great answers. that I could get behind. Um, and so, as everyone is everyone up to date with season four with how it ended? I am not, <laughs> but I don't care if you spoil. It's okay. I will. I will still want to play it and and you know, watch the work. <laughs> okay, and everyone else, Bob, Melissa, obviously because she was in it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this will be major spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. The reason why I'm asking this, I was going to ask your opinions on how it ended, and do you think it should have ended as it did? Yeah, I'm. I'm totally good with it. I'm. I'm great. I'm great with it. She lived. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I thought it was. I, I thought it would have been too. Um, I think there were some people like Clem should have died, and I and I get it. I'm not angry. I mean, I totally get that. That would also be poetic in some yeah. way. Uh, but uh, why? Uh, you know, it's almost cliche to have her die she's out there she's in the i mean there's there's actually um this is another topic of debate with the fans but there's actually a, a comic book robert kirkman you know commissioned yeah. uh i was gonna ask you about a woman who i'm forgetting her name oh my god uh to actually do a like graphic novel comic book uh yeah i read the first little of, bit of first little mini issue or whatever yeah mm -hmm. yeah, it's easy. yeah you know yeah. what i think is special about it is that clem represents hope in a hopeless world Yes. Right. And so the fact that she does get to live, um, you know, yes, it's a fictional character, but like Melissa said earlier, like the shit that we're living through right now is pretty parallel. And uh, th to have hope like that, not die, not get burnt yeah. out. Um, I, it matters. It matters. So I'm glad. Awesome. Absolutely. Now, I want to do a this or that type of game. So basically, I will give you two options and you will pick which one you prefer. Yeah. Pretty straightforward, yeah? All so right. uh, we'll just go around. So we'll start with Gavin, then Melissa, then Sissy, then Shelley, then Eric. We'll just keep going in that order. So Clementine or Lee? Oh. Clementine. Okay. I have the same question? No, no, just, 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 just answer it. That's it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Same question for me. For everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Well, I mean, that's well, kind of... <laughs> man, I feel like a real asshole saying this, but I'm going to have to say Clementine. Sorry. Yeah, I would say Clem, too. Yeah, Clem. I mean, I love Dave and Lee and all of that, but... <laughs> uh, Shelly? Sorry, I went out of order. 
That's right. Uh, did Shelly respond? I don't think no, so. I don't think Sissy did. I oh. did. Clem. Oh. I mean, yeah. Who, who wouldn't say Clem, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> Adam. This, on, this, could, this could get touchy with, I mean, the fan base, but here's the deal. And let's just well, lay it out. If, if not for Lee and I mean, the, the story wouldn't have been as powerful. It wouldn't have punched you in the heart had he not gotten bitten. Well, and, Clem, I mean, would she have ever died. gotten out of her house? Like she was living in her little tree house. <laughs> didn't understand what house. had happened. You know, her parents had gone and you know what I mean? So right. Without Lee, you don't necessarily have Clem, but yeah, Clem. We love Clem. Everybody yeah, and everybody Clem. connects with that because we yeah. all started in a treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, that's as how God we intended. all started, right? <laughs> as God intended. <laughs> this will be another tough one because obviously Gavin's here. So Kenny or Jane? Do I have to start? Um well, I guess I, I don't know really. I don't really know much. Uh, I'm afraid to say. Uh, so I, I guess Kenny, just because no. I don't. Know. I was playing though, I totally would have. I would not have let Kenny kill her. So I probably would have ended up killing him. So fair enough. You know, just for full disclosure. Okay. One thousand percent, Kenny. Yes. Yeah, I, I I would say Kenny too. Although I will admit, in order to see one of my characters, you'd have to pick Jane. That's true. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do, man. I got to go work hubs, 100%. Uh, <laughs> work hubs. Yeah, man. I got to go artisanal pizza in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, to, sorry to make it personal, but it's personal. <laughs> Kenny, obviously. Uh, amazing. Uh, this one might be hard to Shelly, but Harvey or David? Hmm. Pass. Okay. Hobby. <laughs> I'm I'm hobby 100 percent Thousand. Oh. A thousand. Let's stick with a thousand. <laughs> hobby. Hobby. I'll follow suit and say hobby. <laughs> and Shelly, I suppose it's the most difficult for you because you're close this to both. One of the most, I mean, obviously, one of the most uh regular questions I'm asked to oh, this really? day. Oh, right. Uh from from fans in the uh in in the um galaxy of of fandom for the yeah. walking dead this is this is i get asked this still to this day probably every, once a week <laughs> you know uh and uh yeah um the answer and i and i um say this very clearly to anyone that asks me love always always triumphs I will pick Javi 1,000% of the time. Good. I prefer Javi anyway, so. <laughs> uh, Doug or Carly? Uh, Carly. Okay. Our Carly. Carly. Sorry, Doug. <laughs> Sorry, Doug, Carly. <laughs> Although someone has got to teach her how to use batteries for fuck's sake. I know, put the <laughs> fucking batteries in the... Uh. Uh, Shelly, are you from, did you answer? Oh, no, I didn't answer. Um, I thought long and hard about this and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Kenny, actually. <laughs> okay. Fair. Kenny yes. is... I, I hope that's fair. Is that, is that fair? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Totally 100% fair. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Uh, this one might be a bit tough because they're both hated characters, but Lily or Carver? Oh, Lily, Faith? by far. I love yeah. Adore Lily. Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, if I had to choose between the baddies, uh, Lily. Yeah. Yeah, Lily. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, Lily. Any objections? No. no. No, but can I add a fun fact? Sure, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So uh Sean Vanneman, who wrote season one, um, left after season one was done and wrote Firewatch. And um Nikki Rapp, who voices Lily, uh, voices one of the teens by the lake, and they named her Lily so that she could have some sort of closure because at that point they didn't know that Lily was gonna come back. 
Oh, and Nick right. was so mad that there was no closure with that character, so they named one of the one of the asshole teens by the lake Lily. <laughs> and they didn't pick up their damn beer cans. Yeah. Listen to their rock and roll music out on the water. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna also go with I, I thought a lot between Kenny and Lily, and uh, and I'm gonna have to go with Kenny again. Kenny. But uh, you know, but I'm like if I ha if I like have to, I I would I would go with Kenny. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about Larry or Carver? Oh, Larry. Oh, God. Larry. Larry. <laughs> Terry McGuff. Yeah, yeah. Gotta yeah. Ter Those Terry Terry was like my mentor getting into this business and the fact that uh he was in it i it was it was fantastic and he's a pretty pretty kind of awful character but man that yeah. line when he goes little boy when your dad he turns into a zombie and tries to eat your mom you know what oh i just lost it i was like that is so good it is so funny and it's terry's just he's a really nice guy and then he was just being such a jerk and it was so fantastic so larry hello yeah. away yeah. yeah, I'm I'm Larry all the way. And Terry McGovern was also one of the dance judges in Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. So that <laughs> also seals the deal cool. for me. He did a lot of on camera work as well as uh, obviously. Yeah, yeah. He was an American That's graffiti. He's the fact. guy, he's the guy that he's the voice of the stormtrooper that said uh, these aren't the droids we're looking for. Oh. Yep. Uh-huh. Wow. Quite an active person. <laughs> yeah. Um uh, just one more character one, Luke or Kenny, because this is a massive fan thing in season two, obviously, because Kenny's returning and Luke is a very fan favorite character in season two, in my opinion. Scott Porter. Scott Porter, Scott yeah. Porter voice yeah. Luke. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna skew a little bit, and I'm gonna <laughs> gonna say Luke because oh. because of Scott Porter, a whole bunch of us got paid a whole lot more money working on the game. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Thank you, Scott Porter. Did we? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Look, I don't know involved. anything about that. Yeah, hello. Uh, yes, you... Well, Kenny, Kenny, I'm sorry. I love Scott. Scott's an amazing dude. Uh, he did a great job. I loved Luke. I was a little bummed that he fell through the ice so quickly. Yeah. Um, but still, Kenny, 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 Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Ooh. I'm all about making more money, so I'm just going to say Scott. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, re I really want to talk to Gavin about this after. <laughs> okay. You could probably guess why, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go over it later. Uh, and this isn't a character-based one, but would you rather be a main character in one season or in a regular character in four seasons? Regular. Yeah, it, it works out way better to be regular. In I mean, you're seasons. in three anyway, so... Yeah, no, well, so I got to be oh. the, the, the playable, and I hate to take this from you, Melissa, I'm sorry. I got to be the playable in one of the episodes of uh, 500 Days. I was Shell. And the number of times it was like, wow, look at this. Huh, <laughs> that's interesting. Whoa, what should I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Save it's that fun for to have a little more meat. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've turned that into, uh, that used to, yeah, woof, and getting all the direction for that. I'm, I'm, this is not trying to, you know brush my ego here but i i definitely had to somehow turn that into an art the the yeah. searching like well this will come in useful or huh i wonder what this does or yeah the search and finding all the things to and in season four clem just magically puts them like up her butt <laughs> some like really large things that all of a oh, sudden yeah. she just does this and they're like <laughs> yeah that's 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 like all video games though <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Well, this pull, this sledgehammer will come in handy. <laughs> they show the guy running and he's internal. like slim, trim, and all of a sudden he just pulls out a bazooka and you're like, what the hell? <laughs> right. And a, and a Gatling gun and a sword and a yeah, yeah. all in there somewhere. It's a little <laughs> like my D&D &D characters too. Like, <laughs> you're, you're always like, yeah, I got a bag of holding. Yeah, sure. I just hold all this stuff from there. There's a character in Hell stores it in her hair. So, like, someone will come in and she'll just go shunk and, like, shove it in her hair. <laughs> and pull out exactly what you need. It's amazing. It's so good. 
Uh, what was everyone's fondest moment from the game? Too many fondest. Mo- I mean, I'm going to go ahead and and and. Can't be season one. I, well, I'm. <laughs> I'm going to use this opportunity to uh, uh, kind of what's already been touched on, uh, but just saying, honestly, just the whole process of being in this game and all the amazing people uh, that I now call family uh, from working friends and family. And I mean, just in the telltale crew, I mean, there is just some serious medicine going on in that, in that world. Uh, we work with a lot of game companies I mean, and I'm, we work with so many amazing people. Most people in the voiceover industry are very solid, amazing human beings uh, on the game side or whatever, producer, director, uh, writers. But there was something, there was, a, there was a certain magic with all the folks who worked at Telltale Games and, uh, and yeah, and recording, you know, for the first season of Studio Jewelry. And I mean, just, we just, there's just too much. There's a lot of magic behind all of this. So it's yeah. very, it's beyond special. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, I, I think that that pretty much encapsulated the whole thing. I mean, the people that we worked with, Barry, Sound Design and Julian and those guys, they're, they're wonderful. They're really great at their job, all of that stuff, but I, it was all of it together. Um, and, and uh, I actually had friends that worked at Telltale. So like it was, it was just that the whole experience was wonderful. Um, and especially because season one, there was like this, do we know if this is going to be really be a giant thing? Like, is it, you know what I mean? And like I said, I had been reading the comic. I was super stoked. And then I knew my friends were getting these gigs and I was like, Oh my God, so excited. And it just the whole thing. And then when I got a chance to get in there myself, I, it just over the moon, it's a wonderful, the, the people, everything about this this project was just fantastic and as as uh sissy said the lightning in a bottle factor that's 100 percent. and so my fondest memories of this whole thing is all of it <laughs> you know um <laughs> but 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 i mean you know just anytime you were in the studio pretty much you were working with all these people and that those were wonderful i mean those are memories i'll hold on to forever and like i said before you know jory and yeah it's it's wonderful a, a, a great experience I think for some of us too, it was early on in our career. So it was kind of like having that regular destination where we were going and like working on something. And yeah, at first, nobody really knew what was going to happen with it. And then like once the first episode sort of hit, everybody sort of freaked out and kind of lost their shit. And so it, it really kind of, it was such a cool, weird time to start doing it. I mean, you know, we're talking about it. What is it like 10 years later, like 11 years later? I don't know. Yeah. No idea. <laughs> it's just kind of cool that you know, we're still here and people still give a shit about it you know which is rad so it, it it just so much of what it brought and gave and provided so many of us you know such a cool kind of foundation to build from as a career and yeah. just think special to be a part of it's win-win doesn't get anybody exactly <laughs> and how about you shelly um Geez, well, I for I I had to take a real second to think about your last question, which is why I just stayed completely under the radar because okay. I was actually just processing. <laughs> um, which was you said, would you rather have the lead in a season or a regular role in four seasons? And the thing is, is that there are so and and I I would just be curious, you know, if my fellow uh professionals would would agree with this but there are so many different things to actually consider when it comes to like not that we're ever handed a choice like that but like (laughs) when you know like if if we were um the things to consider like because other other elements go into it you could be the lead in a game and um and your your life will be changed forever it actually will like there is no question about it. And, you know, and then you could like ride that, you know, that roller coaster of international acclaim and like what whatever else, you know, all, all of these other epic, amazing things. Uh, and then and then whatever. But like you c- could also have a regular role and 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 then be working a lot more and so behind the scenes you always have these wheels turning as to like all right well that's a steady income for 
quite a while. You know what I mean? And so like that plays into it too. And, um, and, and I think, you know, I'm, I'm of the belief that like, um, the, the lead is, is a spectacular thing to have, but if you have a regular role, you could have what I call just a double whammy, right? So if you're doing exceptional work, like if you are just bringing your A game and you have, and you see, you feel the chemistry and you know, like, oh, this is, this is liquid magic, right? And you feel like this whole thing is happening and you do your absolute best. You could have just as much acclaim as a lead and be working in four seasons of a game. It's just that you, you know, it's not so much uh, being shot out of a cannon like Melissa was, but it could, you know, cause I'm going to use Melissa and like Gavin, for example, as these two examples of Melissa being shot out of a cannon into the international spotlight, but then characters that like, had a say in the game that really struck with the fans like Gavin, where you, you do come back and you are working regularly and you are making a massive impact on the galaxy yeah. of the, of the game that you're working on. It's, it's amazing. You know, like I'm, I'm lucky enough that I was in one season and I still get mosh pit videos, you know, <laughs> but like TikTok videos of people like, Hey, nice gun. Who's the kid? You know, who's the kid with the gun is, you know, like there, there's a really, there's a lot of TikToks that have that one line where it's like Clementine is talking and then Kate's like, did you want to introduce us or am I going to introduce myself? And that, and that's just like, hey, she's staring at this 14 year old with a bazooka or whatever, you know, like, um, and so like, and I still get these TikToks to this day. And so it's just like this ever churning machine that's not answering your question but i but i if i had to pick i would i i probably i would do both because i love to work okay <laughs> Since we that. um and then uh you know and then um my favorite uh element of the experience and this doesn't include the fun facts that i had for you right Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you can say them for the end. Uh, <laughs> the, my favorite element uh, of working um, in this experience was everything that happened behind the scenes. Like, I thought, I, like, when I, again, I'm, I'm not a dingleberry. I just sincerely didn't know that I had the role that I had. And when it was made known to me, um, and then the, when the first episode, so it got released um someone reached out to me and was like by any chance are, are you getting manhandled on social media because it was exploding and I was like mm -hmm. and somebody was like would you want to talk to Melissa and I was like yeah I'd really love that and someone gave me her cell phone and I texted her it was Job it was, it was Job Stauffer. Oh yeah, yeah. Job. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you. And uh, and I texted Melissa, and she was like, "Let's jump on the phone." And we jumped on the phone. We probably talked for an hour and a half that day. And and that that was that stood out to me because like the the graciousness of that of being like, "Oh, this is this is what get ready." for also these things that will happen. And they all did. And get ready for this and that, which which all happened. And because of Melissa, I was like, I was able to just coast with all of it because she straight up told me, hey, on this roller coaster, expect this, 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 and this. And don't, you know, and 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 don't be too surprised when all of these other things happen too. It was and and I was, I was just, she fully informed me as to what would happen and she was not wrong about any of it. And it's it's working with someone that has that amount of grace and generosity. You okay. know, I mean Mel Melissa, like the you were the helm of that liquid lightning in, wow. in magic magic fairy dust in that bottle <laughs> that that was captured. That was like you and and you know you're the head of that triangle, which like has a whole other you know pyramid of triangles underneath it that was you and wow. so so that was you know and and just that example of you being like 
let's jump on the phone. I'm hiking with my dog today, I, you know, or whatever. You were like, oh, I'm, I'm at my sister's well, house. Like, whatever it was, you were, you were like, just live in your life. And you were like, oh, let's jump on. Let's, let's shoot the shit about all of it. <laughs> <laughs> let's shoot the shit about all of it and we did and and it was uh and it was right at the very beginning within a few days after the first episode got released like maybe 48 hours later and, well, and thank you that's those are amazing. huge words i'm uh i am very grateful to hear that thank you yeah well i i think everybody's behind me on our gratitude for you and how you uh steered the ship yeah i mean i Mel, you were, you were, I mean, you are one of my closest friends and, and, you know, even after The Walking Dead, I remember with Firewatch and you were like, listen, expect this and that <laughs> and be prepared for the, for the letdown. Cause there is a letdown when it's all done. And mm -hmm. uh, you have no idea how that helped me. If you start crying, I will lose it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, friend. I love you. Thank you. I want to ask you one final question before we jump into some trivia before everyone starts crying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know. Uh, it's an obvious Factors. question, maybe. Um, but would you, if ever given the opportunity, obviously love to return to the show, uh, Gabe, sorry, whether it was prequel, sequel, obviously I know Kenny's dead. And, um, Kenny's uh, dead? <laughs> and Kat, and obviously Kat sometimes. Dead. Sometimes he doesn't seem to be. True. But would you all love to return at any point down the line? Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to give you a quick, fast answer of 100% hell yes, of course. Yeah. Always. Absolutely. I think, honestly, like, that's one of my favorite things about it is, uh, like, that I got to go back in, in so many iterations, um, you know, and I feel like um, after season one and two and, and 500 days and, and you know, uh, they were kind of getting shit for having me in things um, <laughs> but then when they, when they called me back from Michonne and they and they asked me to be Norma um it was really it was a really nice feeling to to go back into the world you know I, I didn't get to be with Clementine obviously but um being able to do that and like surprise people that yes I am all of those characters and and uh uh and you didn't know it at the time like I love that it was great and I would 1000% go back, especially if the, if the telltale crew could be there. Yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're, it's a testament to your acting as well. It wasn't like, you know, Julia Roberts as everybody. Sorry, Julia <laughs> Roberts. I don't know why I always pull her out. She's an amazing <laughs> actress, but you know what I mean? You are, uh, you morphed, you shaped, you, you, it wasn't like, is that Sissy Jones? It wasn't one of those. All the facial expressions. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and did uh, did um, Shelly, Eric, and Gavin? I said yeah. Okay. It, is this even a question? Of yeah, yeah I, I, yeah. I think Shelly's got it right there. It's like what? That's not even a question. What? But obviously, so, I don't we, think any of us would would say no to that. Yeah, head first. Is that a good answer? Just yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, especially the season three characters, because I don't feel like we got enough. I mean, obviously, we got one season with them, but. I, I think we should definitely get more of them in the future, especially with Harvey oh, yeah. and Kay and Dave. So, yeah, is Dave dead? I can't remember now. <laughs> uh, now I was going to jump into some trivia. You might not all know the answers because obviously you said you're not all up to date with season four. So I'm just going to ask who I think is most most appropriate to. If you get me, so. So first question is what happened to the what happened to Clementine at the end of season four? Melissa Hutchison can't answer this. Everyone knows. <laughs> that was a great start. Um, she Still lived. not bit. No. no. <laughs> well, she can't say limb. that anymore. You go what? She loses a limb. Yeah. She lost the leg. Sorry, I just show you my tattoo there. Get. <laughs> still, um, okay. still alive. There you go. I'll just give go. clues. Yes. Are we score? Because yeah. I have one. Yeah, we'll, sc we'll score it. We'll score it, yes. Um, Can so everyone so answer your trivia questions in a different voice? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought. 
If you want. Why skip out on that opportunity, Adam? Look at this crew. That is true. So, yes, <laughs> do your closest voice to your character in the game. Uh, and I was... <laughs> nailed it. I know, and listen, you have to do um, Young Clementine from season one. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, second question is How did Luke die? Me? Uh, I'm, it's open to the floor. So. Am I? Am I? To- am I basically being kicked out of this game? If I can't uh, answer one of these questions, I'll be a little disappointed. What we'll myself. do is we'll give you before a chance, and then if not, then you have to answer it. Yeah, and watch it'll be the one that'll be like, oh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So how did <laughs> Luke die in season two? Luke fell Falls through, through the ice. That was sissy first. So yes, she did it in a voice too. <laughs> <laughs> um. How did the brothers eat uh, the, dairy, uh, the dairy, dairy Farm brothers in season two? What did they eat? They were carnivores, man. Yeah, they hey. eat. Oil and green is people. <laughs> uh, what, is, what is Harvey's brother called? What? What is Harvey's brother called? You can't answer this. David. <laughs> David. Yes. And who are the first two ever characters to appear in the game? I don't need specific names, but... Lee and the cop. Yes. Brian, was not Brian Temer. Uh, oh, what? oh my God. Julian. What was his name? Okay. It was Julian. Oh, yes. Diving. No, the guy who played the cop was um yeah, no, the lawyer that... for Telltale Game. Why am I thinking yeah, lovely Mark, man? Barbalak. Mark Bal- Barbalak. Mark Barbalak. I thought that was Julian. <gasps> no, Julian was one of the Russian guys at some point. Well, and he was in the first episode when I think uh yeah, Julian he gets his leg cut off. He's one of those like nice. yeah, I mean, and we should know this because he I think Julian was gonna is... be my character and decided to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Julian's amazing. Yeah. He can do it all. Uh, so Clem, uh, Melissa is ruled out for this one as well. So who did Clem have to choose between in the finale of season two? There are two characters. Gavin's also ruled out. <laughs> right, right. Kenny and Jane. Same, These questions same, aren't very hard. Sorry, you're over there. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> who is pregnant in season two? Krista. Not me. Oh. oh, wait. No, yeah, that's actually a trick question because there's two, actually. Yeah, that is a trick <laughs> question. Right. Who gives birth in season two? Uh, Rebecca? Becca? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Bingo. Just watch that. That helps. How does Gabe die in season three? Because Shelly puts a bullet in his head. <laughs> yeah. and I, and I'll tell you how he fucking died. <laughs> I'll put an end to that little shit. No, uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 Gabe, um, Gabe doesn't die. His sister dies. He, he, can, can, or, die. he can die. Gabe can die. And I think it's in the car accident, isn't it? Shoot. Yeah. See, I knew I'd get one wrong. Is it? Is am I right? Wrong? Yeah, he gets he died in a car accident in the apocalypse. Or when the the wait. Yeah. That's how Kenny died. Adam, help us out. Dave, yeah, they're in a car accident. Dave crashes, and then Gabe I think crawls out. I think it's bit. So oh, Dave wow. gets hurt by the car accident, and then Gabe gets. Oh, 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 right. right All right, so right. I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely right. a car accident. Yeah. Um. <laughs> who is the shot him? <laughs> I think you actually saw this. Oh, that's my favorite answer. Can we just give that one to Sissy? Then that's like five <laughs> points. It's amazing. Not even Kate. No, no, Shelly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, no, Kate. Exactly. No, she 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 anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I pulled the bazooka out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's exactly right. To be fair, I think someone does actually shoot Gabe, and I think it is Melissa. Oh, because oh. he's bit any, and I think he tells him to <laughs> shoot her. Yeah, uh, shoot, or is it? 
Damn, I can't remember. So yeah. he doesn't turn, not because it's yeah, yeah, yeah. To. It's, a, it's a mercy, it's a yeah. mercy killing. Yes. Uh, so another season three question: Who is the leader of the New Frontier? Um, is it Alice? Al- Alice? No. no. Okay, am I allowed? To... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Isn't it David? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I thought it's there was my, some it's other my, hu- my actual <laughs> husband. <laughs> I thought there was like a woman involved, another woman lady that was. I think she's involved. in the. Um, they're the com- uh, uh, committee, aren't they? Oh yeah. yeah. There's there's like there's teams of people because remember all the divisiveness or whatever. But I'm so it's like I'm in love with the leader of like the coup d'état. But David is the one that's a- I'm married to, who's actually the leader of like the the new frontier. Right. Uh, and what year? Sorry, go on, Gavin. Sorry. I just said that sounds complicated. <laughs> it's yeah. complicated. A little, little love triangle happening there, yeah. yeah. There's a question involving Gavin. How did Gavin's character Kenny die? Oh, pick one. Which time? The, 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 the flashback scene in season three, if you choose to keep Kenny alive at the end of season two. That's a lot to go on. <laughs> Yeah, go on, you Melissa. If you know, um, he get, he there get Clem is... by a unicorn. Yes, close. Clem is the I run over by a horse. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that would, I mean, that would be something. It would have been. He just freaking we get in a car, another car accident. Yeah, you paralyzed him. True. Yeah, he's then... like, I can't move my legs, or <laughs> I can't move my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my legs, my legs is broke. You gotta get out of here. Take AJ or what? Yeah. Run. And he gets eaten by walkers. Yeah. Sometimes. Allegedly. Allegedly. Right? I mean, how, what else could it be? No, Allegedly. <laughs> I mean, there was a bunch of walkers and you couldn't move, but we don't. Do we see it? it? I can't remember. No. Uh, and what year did Telltale's The Walking Dead first release? Just a year. Well, not a month. Was it 12? Yeah. Yes. 12. Yeah. yeah. Um, which I, two, sorry, sorry, Sissy, sorry. I was just that was a lifetime ago. Yeah, yeah. Right. I, I mean, that was thanks, actually COVID. Actually, almost <laughs> ten years ago. I remember watching the video game awards. Oh, did I just cut out? Can you guys still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember watching great. the video game awards uh, in LA, and I knew that the Telltale people were having a party in the Bay to watch it when uh, when they announced Game of the Year, and. I thought, <laughs> I remember watching Melissa win on the red carpet and they just like shoved it at you. They're like, hey, <laughs> oh, what, what, what? Hey, like oh. yeah, that was really weird. That was really oh, was weird so the way strange. they did that. Yeah, yeah it was just really walked strange. up and went, here's your award, you won. What? <laughs> I mean, it was awesome, but it was strange. After that, right? Because it was in LA, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Did we, sorry, what? What? Did we meet up for drinks after that? Hell, it was, yeah, we did. LA, yeah, that's you, right. were, you were pregnant. You weren't drinking. And I was like, oh, that's weird. She's not drinking. But I knew yet. Yeah. <laughs> Not to say normally you should be pounding the alcohol. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I just remember like my neighbors thought like something was wrong. Like they came down, are you okay? And I was like, this is the game and the, and the award and the win. And they were like, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> just awesome. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, this one isn't aimed at Eric because he's read the comics. So which two characters in the game appeared in the comic book series? And there's only two. And they both appear in season one. Glenn is yes. one. Um, well, Michonne. Oh, uh, St. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. uh, Andy St. John. Andy. No, no, Herschel. Herschel? Yes. Yeah, Herschel. Herschel? Yeah, okay. Different Herschel. Different Herschel. Yeah. <laughs> Different Herschel. A lot younger. So. Same Herschel, different day. Different. <laughs> different year. Same How many Walking Her- Dead series are there? What was that? How many Walking Dead series is there? Like, you mean uh, like... Spin-offs. So series on spin-offs. Shows? Games? Okay, all, all, all related to games. <laughs> I feel all day for comics. There's- okay. Fear, Fear the Walking Dead, The Walking Dead. No, I mean just games. Like how many series oh. is how many spin-offs in total? Sorry. Oh. Uh, six? Three? Who said six? Seven. 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 Seven
I said oh, six. I said, I yeah, said six I, like five minutes ago, but then I was like, oh, are we counting TV? Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, it's six. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, six. Yeah, season yeah. one, three, four, Michonne, and 400 Days. And how many episodes are in the finale season? Four? Yes. Five? Four. 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 Um, which character returned in season four? Kenny! <laughs> Lily! <laughs> Lily! Yes. Lily. It was Lily! Right. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think you would have known if you returned because you would have been there. <laughs> I think they might put like a mustache constellation like that. I thought that's what you meant. Gavin, yeah. what would you do if the answer was Kenny? And you I, would like, be, <laughs> I would be a little pissed, what? but I would also, it would be just, just fucking perfect, right? Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. And final question. This one's a very obvious one because you've all worked with people in the game. Who voices Lee Everett? Dave. Oh, Dave. Yeah. Dave. The great and wonderful human being that is Dave Fenoy. Exactly. I uh, just got to see him the other day at a session. Like I went back to like my first in-person session in forever. And he was coming out of one of the other studios. And I was like, Dave. We had a moment. It was great. Oh. Yeah. It was great. He is a wonderful human. Yes. Uh, so three of you's got four points. Sissy, Melissa, and Gavin. So To the death! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, on the other hand, got nine points because I was keeping track on in dog years. So I will do a final question just to get a winner, and that is... Mm. How many episodes are in 400 days? Three? Three. So I think Sissy. Yes. That I was, think Sissy got yes. that one. Sissy First. wins. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you get a zombie bite, and you get a zombie bite, <laughs> and you get a zombie bite. <laughs> well, thank you for playing the trivia game and this or that. <laughs> How little we know about the games we work on. I know, right? Well, I love to do it. <laughs> it's true. It's so true. And this is one of the ones I know more about than any of the others. Like, people it, will be like, oh my God, in Fallout 4 when the thing, and I'm like, ah, what? <laughs> yeah, like, just no clue. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind Shelley, of like Shelly was saying, like when, like, when that game in particular came out, somebody tweeted at me and they're like oh my god are you on fallout 4 and i was like no and then they sent me a clip of the thing and, and i was like oh, oh shit i'm in yeah. fallout 4 <laughs> oh, I, I, this, they, this was they obviously brought... pre-strike like when they yeah. they weren't required to tell us what was happening but yeah they I called it games fun. sorry <laughs> yeah god bless fandoms oh my god seriously god bless them uh, oh, Shelly, I believe you had something you'd like to say that you said you don't think anyone else knows on the cast. Yes. So, um, hold on. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> She's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I wish I were on East Coast time. <laughs> it's not too early. Chris. It's uh, it's four forty one somewhere. Yes, yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> no, it's empty. I'm here, so. Uh, uh, Zoom, Zoom prop tricks. This is literally my fifth on camera thing this week. So I was just like, I just kept my water in this cocktail glass. <laughs> water. Um, no. Okay. So here's a couple things. Uh, uh, one, uh, well, this was just, this was just something I wanted to say to Melissa and never got the chance ever. There's like three quick things I want to say. Three things. One, was that before we ever talked about social media, before we ever talked about it, because this happened, I think before uh, season episode one got released, right? So this was like November, December, and, and the cast had been leaked and like a little bit, there were like hints of cast, right? And, uh, and I knew who you were obviously, and, and we had actually already even worked together, we just never spoken. So before this, and this speaking of fandoms, uh, one day I was standing on the subway and again, this was like November, right? So I had no idea the, the, like, the baptism of fandom I was about to get dunked in, slam dunked in, right? So 
I was standing on the subway and I got an Instagram follower and I, and it like notified me back then I had notifications on it and I was like, Hey, look, a, a new follower. And it, and the follower's name, I don't remember. So I'm going to make one up, but I don't know if this was the actual fan name or, or Instagram follower name, but it was Clementine forever. Right. And I went, Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so cool. Melissa's following me. <laughs> I love to show you my and tattoo, I of course. I should have it. It was you. I was like, man, she, she, t- she really went next level on the social medias. I thought that it was you. And then only to, like, as we all know, be followed by, be, fo- you know, be, be followed later by hundreds, right. if not a few thousand Clementine name things. <laughs> but the very first one, I thought it was you, so I followed them back. She's so method. Like, hey, <laughs> yeah, she's actually method. I had no idea. So I thought I always wanted to tell you that because I. So I, I am following one fan name that has the Clementine name, and she's got one of the biggest like fan accounts. So so sweet. She found me first. She's she's a beast, right? So I was like, oh my god. So that was my introduction into the social media fandom and I actually thought it was you and I followed you right back and I was like oh that that wasn't Melissa. yeah I have I have people ask me all the time or or I mean and it's just it's, to their credit they just don't know how the voiceover industry works so like well what are you going to do now that the game is done and I'm like well you know I'm <laughs> I do voice acting on all kinds of things yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm like well I guess it's time to I don't know. Go back to college. I, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. So like, like, I am like, obsessed. Retire? I'm yeah, obsessed with Clem, but you know, I do have other characters and worlds and voiceover that I, yeah, that's funny. Nice. Um, yeah, obviously. And then uh, the uh, one other quick thing that I wanted to say was I was very proud of this. I don't know if anybody knows this, but Kate is the only character in any Walking Dead series video game uh, out there of any kind, like of all six, I'm the only character in all six games that has the capability, that has the chance to die in every single possible way they ever wrote. Awesome. Including living, including not dying. Oh. I thought you were just gonna say, she's the only one that smokes weed. And I was like, well, (laughs) on camera. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, pretty yeah. sure Kenny is uh, a yeah. joint here or there. And, uh, Let's bring it back the to the artisanal pizzas, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I thought that was cool. But uh, here's one for all of you guys, which I know, I know there, that you don't know this. And I have also never brought this up in any interview that I've ever done. And I, and I don't know how or why it never came up. But um, this is a fun one for you guys. So, you know, the zombies? The band? Oh, I'm on the band. The zombies (laughs) in all of the games that we are running from are voiced by me and my loop crew. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Wow. That's so cool. So, so no, because I, I like, I have these um, amazing actors. I have crews of different loop groups that I put together for different games, like Batman and Game of Thrones and Minecraft and all that. And they're all constructed of different students that I've trained. And the, uh, you know, and, and uh, for Walking Dead, uh, I got, uh, ev- like, there were six of us representing, like, all races, uh, ages, and vocal tones and we did uh all of the zombies that we are running from in the game and uh and also we did all the looping stuff so like if there's a crowd of people it's it like so like kate's like oh my god look at all these people and it's me being like you know like we're gonna get you and like what, whatever else like because there's like a coup d'etat sort of thing in, in one of the episodes there's a, there's crowds of people and that's like me and and uh, my my loop group too. That's awesome. awesome. Well, thank Fun you, for that. But yeah, I've never told anyone in any interview that I was the zombies. Cool. That killed everyone. An Adam Dinsley exclusive. Exactly. I've always thought that's not right. Breaking news. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for sharing that on this podcast. 
Um, so I've asked you everything and we've done a bit of trivia. So is there anything you guys would like to sign off with and share with the fans that we've not discussed? I just, I will just go ahead and throw down my gratitude probably for the 80th time. I just, it's just been, uh, the fans of this game are, you know, literally what uh, propelled this game forward, all those tough choices that they made throughout the game, you know, I mean, that really just. Yeah, Melissa will remember this. I was going to say Clementine remembers that. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I, uh, you know, I just, I've, I've been on such a journey that I never, ever, I didn't, you know, I don't know, I think primarily for all of us, maybe not, but getting into voiceover, you know, that one day I'm going to be a famous voiceover actor and the world will know me. Like, that's not personally why isn't that why you get into vo to be famous (laughs) (laughs) i'll be walking down the street and it'll just be like oh please not now um you know it's just a love of of character voices acting uh just just being psyched to be in a studio and be in this industry and um you know i i just the the journey that i i've got to go on and meet all these amazing fans at conventions and and on the socials and all this has just been uh just such a, a beautiful group of people um and uh yeah i just want to say thank you basically thank you thank you to the fans awesome anyone else got anything they'd like to share i I mean i I will say the same thing thank you to everybody and uh um thank you to the 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 group that put this together the the devs and um you know, Kirkman, the whole bit. I'm so grateful for even being a part of this. Uh, you know, uh, grateful, very, very, very grateful. Thank you. Yeah, same. That and be kind to each other. That's all. Perfect. Gavin Shelley, anything you like to yeah. share? No, it's been a great ride. It's been super, super fun. And uh, it's an honor. And now to... he has to die. <laughs> <laughs> So I tried camera. to go off screen, but there was a wall there. I was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gavin. <clears throat> oh, no. Yeah, that's been fun. Awesome. And Shelly, anything yeah, you like to add? Yeah, the, the Walking Dead in particular was uh, was a game changer uh, for all of us, and uh, I think you're just looking at a crew of the most grateful actors in the industry i mean truly it's just uh you know the attitude of gratitude with with all of this and personally i mean and and then the the fandom is what what made it happen you know aside from everything that i mentioned before which is just like i don't think the the fans like they are active and they are present and they are there and they're not going anywhere and they're always a joy to talk to and so that's always been fun and that's the reason why we're doing this interview how many years yeah. later you know what i mean yeah. that, that a lot of people are going to love and and that's just so cool and to that i will just say um you know to my gratitude and appreciation for um for all of the magic that made it happen and all of the people that that appreciated that magic and that fuel it every day and uh and to this crew of people i just can't wait to see you on the next one awesome yeah and thanks to telltale who is back by the way a couple of people that i knew that worked at telltale are rebuilding telltale because somebody bought the the ip and all that so yay that's (laughs) That's really cool and i want to thank the five years for everything you've done for this game as well so you know because i grew up with this game in 2012 and i'm still playing it to this day so the five views plus the rest of the cast who obviously aren't here, but you all did an incredible job. So thank you for everything you've done for this community. Thank you, thank Adam. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, and thank Adam. you for it reaching better. out. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it your really time. Cool. It's... Yeah, thanks for putting me in a Zoom call with these people because it's <laughs> it's an absolute joy. I love these people. So this is awesome. Love you, man. Thanks, mutual. I love all you guys. Same. Oh, man. Same. Yeah, well, I appreciate Thanks, all you, you giving up this extra time because obviously I know I've reached out to all of you individually but to come together is even better because it's just amazing so thank you again thank you amazing thank you Adam You're very welcome I hope we can do this together but with a bigger group in the future I'll keep in person yeah. in person yes. oh man that'd be awesome oh yeah man I'll drink to that <laughs> <laughs> 
let's really get fun. I will too. <laughs> ah. Awesome. Well, um, I look forward to talking to you all again down the line. Thank you again for all your help putting this together. I appreciate it. And take care. I know when this is live. It should be going live this week once it's all sorted out. You know. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Hey, bro. Thank love you. Right. Thank you, guys. Love you guys. Love you all. I love you guys. Yeah. Awesome. Love you. you guys. Be Take safe. Care. Yeah. Bye. Hey folks, what's going on? This is Alex Hernandez, the voice of David Garcia. I'm sorry that I can't be with you guys to join in the reunion, but I'm about to hop on a plane back to the United States. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting the game and thank you to Adam for organizing all of this. And I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Be well.